Good morning, Joey. Hey, girl. Good morning. So every morning, we come out and do the chores. Joey walks alongside with us, mostly with Becky. Becky's not out here quite yet. But Joey follows us and tries to help where she can. She loves to lick the, the bowl with all the food scraps for the pigs. So she's waiting by in attention for me to pour their bowl out so she can have some after we're done. All right, Joey, here's your bowl. So with her limited knowledge and our limited knowledge of teaching her, training her or anything, she's done a great job of watching and observing, seeing what we want done, helping us herd chickens and turkeys inside their fence, helping us move the cows inside their barn for our milking session. But what we want to learn is how we can train her for real. Can we do that using YouTube? Let's find out. Becky, what's the most annoying habit of Joey's that yeah. you'd like to change? Yeah. I think jumping up on us and the kids licking their faces. That's pretty annoying. Yeah. So what's Joey's routine with you in the morning? She follows us everywhere we go. She'll wander off and do her own little thing every once in a while, but I want her to be with me constantly. So she always gets the chickens in if they're out of the fence, or just make sure everything's all in order. She's gotten shocked so many times by this electric fence, she will not go underneath it anymore. She'll wait till we open the gate. Oh, are you jealous? Are you jealous? <laughs> Can't handle it when I go to rub on the pigs or say hi to Maisie. She's got to have the attention. Down. Down. Give me a bath. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to go outside and start some training and I just bought a harness the other day. We had the harnesses for our emus and I think they would actually be the perfect size for Joey right now, but we can't figure out where they're at. So they're somewhere out in the garage. But I got this one, I think it'll work just fine. That way we'll be able to use a leash to do some leash training for Joey. So let's get this on. Come here, Joe. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Now we haven't used a leash since she was a little puppy. She turns a year old at the end of this month. We thought a lot of things about how we wanted our dog to be. We need to instill a lot of good basic habits with her. Why aren't we taking her to a class? A lot of issues arose when she was a puppy that we were in the middle of the pandemic and we couldn't actually go to a physical class. And here it is almost a year later, maybe eight months later, and now we're looking to train her. So what I'm gonna start with today are some basic commands. I've already been working on sit and stay with her and then also work on things that are some really bad habits where when people come over, she jumps up at them. People drive in our driveway or when they come into the house, she goes crazy and barks at them. We're gonna work on those today and this week to start to instill okay. some good habits in her. So let's go outside. Now I'm gonna link some videos that we use for reference because we have been watching a lot of YouTube dog trainers. So I'm sure we missed a lot of good channels out there. You can let us know some other good channels to watch. But basically we just searched a lot of key things that we wanted to work on with our dog. One of the first things for leash training, you're gonna see we have a super long leash and you're gonna go, why don't you have one of those retractable ones? Well, we do have those. 
this is actually recommended for a lot of the training is to use this long leash so you can actually let them move around and do some things but then you still have control of them with the leash that you can grab. So first we're going to go on a little bit of a walk. The leash will just drag behind us. Now I know I'm going to make a ton of mistakes as I'm doing this so the main thing that I'm going to work on and focus on is positive reinforcement through treats and playtime, and we'll work on creating some good habits and then we'll be able to build on those to then start working on more advanced tasks with herding and attacking predators and things like that that we want to instill in her to help work around our farm. Hang on, stop. Up, up. So a lot of times when I tell her to stop, she just lays down. And I don't necessarily want that. I want her to stop and I want her to sit. And so I want to reward her for sitting. Sit, sit, good girl. So every time I see behavior that I like, I'm rewarding her with a a little treat, which is just a little piece of her food. And so Stop. it's something she'd already be eating anyways today. Rather than giving her dinner, we'll just give her a little bit throughout the day. There we go, I'm walking away from her. Okay, right now she got sidetracked. She lost focus in what we were working on. Okay, you ready to work again? So right now she's walking right alongside me, which is perfect. What's her normal behavior, Jake? Her normal behavior is to run way ahead. If I were to run, you see, she'd sprint and beat me see? home. If I were to be driving the, the UTV, the vehicle, She'd Stop. sprint up ahead of us. She'd think where we're going Girl. and try to go beat us there. Girl. So right now, I want her to know that I'm in charge and that she's following my lead. Here's one of our other dogs, one of our big dogs named Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey, what's going on this morning? It's my birthday. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. Happy birthday, bud. Enjoy your birthday donut. Birthday tradition. We get a donut on our birthday. Yummy. All right, right now you can see her trying to lick my hand because I've got a little treat right here. And so that's the next thing we're gonna work on is leave it. I've been giving her treats from my hand so she knows that's where it's at. She's trying to go for it. And now I want her to get her to stop going for it. One of the other issues that we have is that we feed her outside. We feed the cats in the mud room, which she has access to. That's where she sleeps at night. And usually yep. she leaves their food alone. But if Good. she's really hungry Good. or she gets really bored, leave it. she'll get up and she'll get into their food. Good. And so we want to start teaching her to leave, leave things it. alone that are not hers. Leave so it. she doesn't have the right leave to it. eat. And I'm going to give her a treat every time she leave leaves it. it alone. And then I'm going to conceal it or I'm going to hide it Good. away every time she goes for it. As soon as I see her give up and disregard going after it, that's when I'm going to give it to her. I want her to learn to leave it alone. Leave it. Good. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to get to a point where I actually leave it on my hand and I don't want her to take it. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. So we're just trying to reinforce leave it. that she understands what leave it means. It'll look a little bit like I'm teasing her, but the whole goal is that she leaves the food alone until we give it to her. Okay, that's one we're going to come back to. I think that one's going to take a little while to master. I think she's starting to get it, but she's also losing focus as we do it for an extended period of time. Right now we're going over to the emus. Here's the pigeons up here. So Joey has a really big problem when she's around other people, when people come to visit, when cars drive in our driveway. And she does get excitable when she's around the emus here. The emus will get excited and she'll get excited. And so we'll use them since we don't have a car here. Okay, right now we're probably going to end up having sit. to go somewhere where there are sit. people and vehicles. So we can actually practice her focus skills and to listen to us over them. So we're going to sit here by the emus and I'll see if that gets her excited at all. Yeah. We're also going to work on yeah. having her stay. Like right now I'm going to go across Girl. and get stay. some mail. So I want to make sure that stay. she will stay over here. Good girl. Good girl. Treat. All right, she did great. Stayed right where I wanted her to. All right, we're about to give Eli his gift. First, I gotta move the UTV in the barn. Hey, come here. Can you try? Happy birthday! Yeah. You even got a kickstand on it. Yes. Eli's last bike, he got broken, the wheel got bent, so he needed a new bike. What? What? What do you want? Oh, you want the other bike? Those are big bikes. You need a little bike. Here's your bike. All right, we 
got a guest coming over. My dad is popping in right now, and this will be a great chance to work with Joey on how she deals with strangers. Joey, come here. Joey, come. Joey, come. Joey, come. Joey, come. Sit. 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 Come. No. See that? So right now, I'm trying to call her over, give her a treat when she's calm, so we don't reward the crazy behavior. Hang on. Joey, come. Joey, come. Joey, come. Joey. 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 All right, she's checking out my dad here. Let's see. Joey, come. Dad. I'm working on training her this week, so I'm working on her around strangers. This is good. Oh, I see. Come here, Joey. Come, Joey. Come, Joey. Sit. 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 Down. Down. Sit. Sit. Okay, we're getting ready to go on a walk. I'm going to go with the boys here at the end of the night, kind of see how our training took with Joey during the day. So I'm going to have Eli walk and uh, I'm going to work with him on that because one of the things that's important besides me training Joey is that the whole rest of the family knows what to do and what to say and how to treat Joey the same I'm way that I do. So I've got to train them just like I've got to train her. You doing alright buddy? You going to come for a walk with us? Joey and the kids did a great job walking out here. I'm gonna let Joey off her leash so she can run around and play out here. And then I'll get the leash back on when we go back. But it'll probably be too dark then. So we'll pick training back up tomorrow. Good girl. And Joey. And so over the next few days, we took her out to parks so we could get around people. We can get her comfortable with being led on a leash. We continue to work on her commands so we could eventually move to the next stages of her Come training. On. Good job, Joey. Come on. Come on. And then it snowed. Oh, we had a whole beautiful week of weather. And now it's snowing on our final day of week one working with Joey. So Becky's having a little bit of playtime with her. Something we've learned about is currency for dogs, giving them treats can help reward them and then also some play time, tug time on ropes and also help reward them for good behavior. some of the things I've been working on with Joey this week. Do you see any improvement in her behavior yet? A little bit. I think it's going to take a little more time, but yeah, she's starting to recognize commands and stuff. What do you think we still need to work on a lot? Still jumping up. Down, Joey. Still barking she's at people. Still barking at people. Still getting the cat food. Sit. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Well, our weather got nasty. We've had a fun first week of working with Joey, haven't we? And I'd say I wish I would have started this training sooner because it is pretty easy. It just takes time and repetition. And I think it's given Joey a whole new sense of purpose. And it's a lot of fun. I'm spinning around here because she just keeps chasing after my face. Now that she knows I carry treats, now she follows me around where before she would just run away when I would go to do chores. And when we go on walks, when I take a leash with me, She'll walk next to me instead of sprint ahead when I have the leash on her. And keep following along. It's going to be really cold over the next week. But we're going to continue to work on Joey's training so she can eventually herd some bigger animals. Grab it. <coughs> Sit. She hears a school bus. She's sitting. She gets a treat for that. Focus. There you go.
in our yearly tradition. We gotta see where Eli comes in on the height ruler. Oh my gosh, you're almost to the top, bud. Wow. Last year you were at four two, and now three inches further, you're at four foot five, Eli. Happy birthday. 